Hello, Taviso. Uh, it's Errol uh, from um, from Facebook. We talked earlier on about interview. Oh, all right. So, how are you, man? How are you doing? You right? I'm good. I'm good, and you? Okay, I'm good. Yeah. All right. One second. I'm here. I'm here with. Um, I'm here with Ingram Jones from Baylor Rock TV. Ingram, go ahead. How are you doing, Tavisa? How are things? Uh, everything is good. Yeah. At the moment, everything is good, yeah. Wow, well, I, uh, I I saw um, the beginning, the tweets back and forth between yourself and Eddie Chambers. Who started that? Sorry, come again? I saw your tweets with yourself and Eddie Chambers before the fight was really announced. Who started the tweeting? Yeah. Who started the tweeting? Yes. Uh, actually, like, uh, he started the uh, trash talk and all, but then I was just replying to what he was saying, and then I wanted to, I wanted, like, uh, I didn't want him to see, like, I'm not, like, here. Uh, I wanted to show him that I'm not scared of him. He might think that he's a world class boxer and all. He thought I was going to be intimidated by that, but then, like, I wasn't, I wasn't intimidated, so uh, I was just replying, it's not that, like, I'm a, I'm a kind of guy who talk trash before the fight, but then if you bring it to me, then I'll, I'll take it back to you. <laughs> wow, you certainly did that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, was a, it was a master class of boxing, of a display of what I saw, and, and it was a good way of breaking into the into the cruiserweight division. Um, this your strategy. Yeah. Now, I, mean, I was very impressed of, of, of the way you fought. I've never seen you fought before, but um, have you got any offers... Since then, to fight any of the champions, and and what's next for you? Uh, from now, I'm a promoter and a manager. They're still negotiating. In fact, the uh, main events from uh, all, from uh, New York, they want me to come fight there again. It might be November or December, but we haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. But from now on, uh, like I think I'm ready for any world title. But my aim, uh, my aim is on the WBC. That's what I want the most. The WBA. But I think I can try to fight for any world title now. And I'm ready. I'm at the right peak. My age is right. So I think now it's time. Yeah. Mm. What, did it, what did it feel like for you to beat a name like Eddie Chambers? What did it make you feel like? Fighting a name like Eddie Chambers? Yeah, like uh, I had the pleasure that I'm fighting a well known boxer who's been like who's been around the world actually was fighting in a heavyweight and was doing well as a heavyweight coming down to my weight division to my weight division so a lot of the guys thought maybe it would be easier for you for him to get rid of me. But then the other side I know what I'm capable of so as soon as they said I can fight uh, like uh Eddie Chambers can fight me, I just said yeah, it's on. Because I knew I had every everything it takes to win the fight. You, I mean, you didn't. You, I mean, I remember the back and forth to yourself and Eddie, and you oh. did not back down. You were determined. You said, "I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you." And boy, you showed him. Yeah, because mm, cause like deep down in my like in my heart, I knew that like I'm clever in him. Actually, like uh, if you watch the fight, he wasn't faster. I made him look like uh, I looked more faster than him. And I knew I could all day some more fast. I've been doing boxing since I was a kid. So I knew and I seen him fight. He actually was fighting the heavyweight. Those heavyweight guys in the heavyweight division, you all know that they don't display a lot of skills. Just have to be strong and have a good power. Different. So those heavyweights, I think they made him look flashy and good, not knowing that when it comes to a cruiserweight, there's a lot of skillful guys in a cruiserweight. So I think that cost him a lot. He thought maybe he's been fighting bigger guys, six foot six. And uh, much heavier guys than me, so he thought it was gonna be easy. Meanwhile, and I knew that once he drop weight, also his power gonna go down. And Eddie, we all know Eddie is not a puncher. Mm. Definitely. So, argu uh, so arguably, you're saying that Eddie would have to fall better at cruiserweight because he's fighting guys who are smaller and lighter and mm. faster and can match him punch for punch. And you outmatched him. Hmm. Exactly. That's what kept me motivated because I knew that I got, I got skills. I got skills. Uh, I, like I told myself that I'm clever than him. I seen him fight. He's like he's a good boxer, but he's very beatable. As I, like that's why I took the fight because I knew I, I'm gonna win the fight because Eddie's very beatable. He's quite, it's kind of awkward doing a fight, but then I knew I got all like everything it takes to win a fight. Yeah. Definitely, man. I mean, it's, it's, like I said, it was a it was a strategy well played out. You, you clearly outboxed him. 
I mean, regardless yeah. of what you can't be bothered what Eddie's on if he drained or anything. You just did a a good job on him, and it's up and upwards for you. And and you made a name. That's why I thought, um, mm. you know, obviously mm. you're new star. The the, the, go ahead, go ahead, sir. And I told the guys that before the fight, I'm going to be in charge. I uh, just have to make sure that, and I know how to do that very well, to be in charge of the fight, to control whenever I want to hit, if I want to duck. Like, uh, that's all I told my fa- myself, that that's, that's what I'm going to do in a fight. I want to, like, I want to be in charge of the fight. I want to control the fight, control the pace. And that's exactly what I did. In, uh, in, uh, in other rounds, I could see from his corner, they were telling him, now you have to go put pressure. But as soon as I stand in front of him, like he, he couldn't he couldn't hit me. So that works for me really well. I wanna yeah. um And he has never fought and he has never fought a clever sound pro like me. He's been fighting orthodox guys. So I knew exactly when he fights my style is like I'm not just any any like ordinary sound pro. My my stance is very awkward and I'm a good counter puncher, so I knew that will all work all work for me. Go ahead, Grim. You were saying something? Uh, I've lost my train of thought for one second, so if you you can keep going, Errol. Okay, yeah, what I was just saying, yeah, definitely, I agree with you, man. And and um, like yeah. I said to you, now your name, you've made a name ah. into the division, a big splash into the division. And that's um, what I was gonna ask. This is what I thought I was gonna. This is what I thought we, we'd find out a bit more about you because obviously, you know how, how something goes, like your big one minute, and then we have to wait until your next fight. So I thought, you know, for the fans on here on um on the boxing firm, so we have to get a bit know you and. Uh, to explain explain where your background is and where you're from. So when did you start? When did you start fighting? You're only young. You're only 24, right? So when did you start yeah. fighting? Yeah, I started fighting when I was eight years old. I was a kid. My my, my dad used to be a boxer. He weight. Mm-hmm. but then he didn't make it that far. He didn't he didn't he didn't go like he didn't make it that far. But then I started like I started boxing by following him to the gym. I was still young. I was still like seven years old. Then I started following to the gym. When he trained, I used to look at him and do shadow boxing. Mm. Then like, uh, then he ended up teaching me how to box. Then from then, I had my first fight when I was eight years old. Then I represented my province like for plenty of times. Then when I was 17, I got into the national team. And that's where I got a lot of experience going overseas, mm. fighting international guys, going to AIBA, AIBA World Amateur Championships. And that's where I got a lot of experience. And... That's made me. That's made me believe that I can beat Eddie. Cause as an amateur, I fought faster guys, clever guys. I fought. I fought. I, I didn't go to the Olympics, but I fought to the Olympics. I beat in the Olympics. Mm. Just before the Olympics, I just pulled out of the team because of some politics in South Africa. But then that's where I got a lot of experience as an amateur. Cause I had like 173 amateur fights, and I only lost like 13 out of those 173. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Definitely great exposure because this was supposed to be the Eddie Chamber show. <laughs> you burst the bubble. <laughs> you know, you burst the bubble. The whole thing was all for Eddie Chambers, Philadelphia. You came, you came from South Africa, and you and you put a master class of boxing. It got me thinking, boy, this I got to find out who this guy is. Um, Ingram, you got a question? Yeah, for the chat? yeah two questions I want to ask you. Um, question number one. Now that you beat Eddie Chambers, is that going to make it more yeah. difficult for you to get fights? Mm-hmm. And the second question is, what did Eddie Chamber say to you after you whooped him? Uh, I, I, I didn't hear the first question clearly, but then the second question, he just said I'm a good boxer, and I saw his tweets. He was saying that, uh, like, uh, he was saying he didn't have, uh, he didn't have a chance for me. I've never seen me fight, so that's why he couldn't, like, he couldn't perform against me. But then I just think that's an excuse because before the fight. He thought maybe just an African boxer would be easy for him, not knowing there are no boxing. I've been bo- I've been boxing for a lot of for a lot of time. Okay. Mm-hmm. But then he said people must just give me credit. I'm yes. a good fighter. Mm-hmm. I'll go back to the first yeah. question again. The first question was: Now that you have beaten Eddie Chambers, yes, does that mean you're going to get more fights, or you're going to be more avoided? Yeah, I think I'm gonna be more avoided as you can, like, as you can, if you sort of fight. My style is very awkward. Even here in South Africa, I had to find sparring partners, or I just, or sometimes I have to switch to being orthodox in order to get sparring because they don't wanna, they can't, they can't, like, my stance, they say my stance, my, my style is very awkward as you sort of fight. Like, maybe Eddie Landon, I think Eddie Landon, one tin punch on my face. It's very hard to hit me. So I think. <laughs> 
I, I think I'm going to be more avoided since I'm playing a guy like Eddie. And, uh, and before the fight, none of the crews are waiting didn't want to fight Eddie. But then I just took the fight. So that's what, like, uh, that's what I think I'm going to be more avoided since after this fight now. I tell you a fight I'd love to see you in. I'd love to see you fight Gajerma Jones because of your speed and movement. That'd oh. be a great fight. Oh, you? come on now. Not Guillermo Jones. No, 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 no. No, no Guillermo <laughs> Jones. Think I should no, fight. That's, that's, Do you think I should fight to fight Guillermo Jones? No, I know you'd fight anyone, Kev, but Guillermo, I'd like you to fight Hook or, or, or Darius Leverbid. Who no, called it? man, you, the yeah. movement he's got there, he's not Lebedev, he's not going to walk forward and keep getting punched. No, but what I'm saying to you is that, it's, 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 I'm talking about the paydays, it's, I'm talking about, I mean, I know you used to talk about stylists, I'm talking about big paydays for my man. Yeah, but the man just thump up a, a Lebedev the other day, if he beats now uh, yeah, he goes Jones. Jones. Yeah, but fi- fighting a Lebedev in, in Russia is, is a bigger payday than fighting Guillermo Jones who hasn't got hasn't got a base. But, but people will turn around and say, well, Lebedev got beaten up by, by, by Jones the other day. If he goes and beats Jones, Jones is the man, isn't it? We we should bring champ into let let the champ say. What do you think, champ, about what we just said? Uh, I think I can. So I think uh, Lebedev will be like uh, cause it's not it's not like I'm used on fighting solar guys anyway. So I've been fighting solar guys since I was a kid because eh, I'm kind of short in my weight division. Mm-hmm. So I think any of them, any of them will be. Like, but I think I've seen them fight. I think Lebedev will be much easier for me. Yeah, that's good. And, yeah. Uh, Mm, I think because he's, he's, he's not that tall and he's almost yep. not height and he's a, yeah. he comes so I don't a guy comes to me they just make things easier for me yeah that's right that's so right that's, and, and naturally Marvel... naturally, mm, naturally when I started boxing I'm a good boxer I can yeah. box then I'm going forward then I'm taking a fight to my opponent so when a guy is coming to me mm-hmm. they just make things easier because I'm a good counter puncher yeah. and yeah I think uh, that they will be much easier for me and either Kimo Jones too they will just control I will just control the fight I'll adjust during the fight mm-hmm. then I'll make it easy because he's not that skillful boxer he's the tough boxer yes he's a work rate his work rate is good and he's tall yeah there's nothing special about them any of them but I mean yeah, Lebedev you... go ahead okay. I think no, go on, England. Go on, England. Go ahead. Lebedev, uh, Lebedev I had... think a guy that's in that. Okay, okay, cut out. Yes, go ahead. You go ahead, champ. Go, champ. Oh, I think a guy that's in like, uh, that I'll have to dig deep to beat him. I think if Hernandez is a Cuban guy, because he's a sad boy, he's quite tricky too. Uh, I've seen him fight, he's an awkward boxer too. So I think I'll have to dig deep to beat him. But I, I, I believe I can beat him. Mm, yeah, definitely. I, you know what I, I say about you? You're a throwback. I'm watching you. I'm watching the fight actually as we're speaking against Chambers. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a throwback fighter. Um, you know you've you've got the hit and don't be hit type of style. But you're but you're yeah, a threat, exactly. Chambers. Because you got you understand Chambers is a very good boxer, and for you to yeah. completely take him out of his game, you know it shows how great you are. You know what I'm saying? It's um yeah. you don't really you rarely see that, and no one knows who yeah. no one's seen you before in these shows. For you to do that yeah. against Eddie Chambers is a very good boxer. He can, you know, he can box yeah. and he can fiddle the most. You know, it shows exactly. it shows your caliber, man. Like, and the thing is, nothing as well. Couldn't you fight at a lower weight because you're fighting at cruiserweight? And I'm like, you're only in taller than me, yeah. Like five foot eight, right? So I'm thinking wow. to myself, yeah. we would have been better in a, uh, you know, a super mid. No, maybe not a super middle. Yeah, yeah, maybe a light heavyweight. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of people have been saying that, but then like. Uh, I got uh, uh my my body like my body structure. I got like my bones are very big, so mm. I couldn't make. I remember as an amateur two thousand in Russia in like, two thousand two thousand and uh, two thousand and six. I couldn't make eighty one kg like uh, so. Uh, I can't really make uh, seventy nine. I think this is the perfect weight for me. And the height, the height thing is not a problem for me because I think I think it has become my advantage because I'm short. A lot of the guys and my my reach. Mm. If you can see my hands, they are gonna I got their own reach. The mm. guys think I won't be able to land or reach them. Meanwhile, I know that according to my reach, my 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 arms are very long. So I think being short in this weight division has become my advantage. Mm. Mm. Yes. Ingo, go ahead. Wow, and I'm I'm, yeah. I'm just still thinking about the fight and what you've done and what you've achieved. Um, in terms of a fan base, um, has that changed since you've beaten Eddie Chambers? Yeah, I've got a lot of friends from uh, England, Germany, Poland. They yeah. all they all want me to come fight there. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah, I think it's like uh, they supporting me very well and it's encouraging me. In my next fight, I'm a, I'm a do better than what I did. I still believe on my last fight with Eddie Chambers, I could have done better. But then the thing I thought is also I thought maybe it's holding back 
So I was also kind of pacing myself a lot. I could have, uh, like, uh, I, I still believe I could have done better than that. But then I just, uh, also at the same time, I also did enough to win the fight cleverly. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely yeah. did. You, yeah, you won by a landmark, la, la, a landslide. <laughs> just, uh, so that's why I didn't want to risk, I didn't want to risk things because Eddie, as we all know, is a white house boxer. So, yeah. like, I was focused the whole time. I didn't want to take chances, any unnecessary chances. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Because I was, because uh, I knew that I'm winning the fight comfortably. Okay, all right. Ingram, I'm, a, yeah. I'm really Go interested ahead. to find out. Um, who did you growing up? Who is your? Who did you look at as a fighter growing up? Uh, growing up, like, but at the moment, my favorite boxer is Floyd Mayweather. You can see my style is like that different. Is that I'm a yes. side tour. Yes. Like uh, some people, they call me like uh, another vision of Floyd Mayweather in a cruiserweight. And yeah, but then my favorite boxer when I was growing up, I used to watch uh, Roy Jones. I used to like Roy Jones a lot. Muhammad Ali, obviously, and Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Two great fighters there. Uh, you, you know, yeah. I, I, when I look at you, because I look at all the historian boxers, the only guy I can see that, that you remind me of, you remind me of an old throwback, Sam McVie. Uh, Sam, that's yeah, Sam and McVie. I used to, I used to, and uh, this other guy, we take her. We take her. We take her. I forgot it. I forgot his name. We take her. But it was a, uh, it was the welterweight. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know me. Uh, Pinel. We take her from USA. Okay. But you, you yeah, know what? Sure nothing, you know. Yeah. Go on. Go on. No, but you know what? You're joining. You're joining some of the um, greatest South Africa boxers like Baby Jane Milan and mm. and all and all the other guys who came from South Africa, man. With this was performance. It, was it? Was it? Wasn't Bungu? Wasn't he from South Africa yeah, as Bangu, well? Bangu, yeah, Bangu was Bangu was Tim, um, Thingy uh, Thingy Undu, Philip Undu as well, oh, Cassius yes. Boloid, and all the other great yeah. South Africans fight. You put South Africa back on the map again, you know, with this fight. You know, they must yeah. be proud. In, I know Nelson Mandela's going through some stuff. The countrymen must be very proud of you in that performance. Mm. Exactly, uh, yeah. And uh, I wish him, uh, I hope he's going to recover quickly. As you all know that he's, like, he's in a hospital. Mm. But yeah, I wish him all the best. I think he's gonna recover quickly. Yeah, Nelson Mandela. Hope yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah things will go well. well. Um, another thing, question. Um, so how do you come up with the name The Rock? What was that? Um... Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch the wrestling. Then no. uh, we used to play <laughs> wrestling as kids. Then uh, like <laughs> I used to call myself The Rock. Then from there, my my my, my friends just called me The Rock. Like from the primary to the high school. Then. They ended up calling me The Rock, by the way, the name, like, it suits me very well, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, you just, right. you just need to develop a rock bottom now, that's all. Oh, yeah, when you're, when you're a special movie. Oh, boy. And, and, and a people's elbow. The people's elbow, right? That's funny, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Ch- hey, champ, we, 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 hey, uh, Ingram, you got any other questions? I'm about to wrap it up. Well, you got I, any other questions? I, I, I just... While we're on the subject of just not sort of South Africa, but Africa itself, one of my favourite fighters was the Professor yes. Azuma Nelson. Well, how much did you know about Azuma Nelson? Ghana, ain't it? Yeah. Come again? One of my favourite fighters on the subject of Africa, not just South Africa, but Africa, was Azuma Nelson, the Professor. How much did you know about the Professor Azuma Nelson? How much did I know about who? Azuma Nelson, the professor. Zuma Nelson. Yeah, Azuma Nelson. You know, from Ghana. Oh, like, yeah, I've heard of the name, but then, like, uh, I don't know nothing much. So I don't know how much about him, but I've yeah, heard he, of the He only name started boxing when he was 18, Ingram. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think he was on an average fan like that, Ingram. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, okay. so get me. But, yeah, 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 that's, that's yeah. all right. Don't worry now, but... You're doing your country proud, and, and we're even anticipating your next fight. Absolutely. And um, are you on fit? Fa- you're obviously on Facebook. Are you on Twitter? Yeah, I'm on Facebook, and I'm also on Twitter. Yeah, do you want to give the, the fans your name on t- on on Twitter so if they can? Uh, yeah, it's just Tabi from Kunu, and on Twitter it's at Tabi from Kunu. Okay then. All right, champ. Yeah. All right, Cam. Yo, I appreciate this conversation. This, this comp. I hope we had an interview. Hopefully, we can uh, try and get a cup. When we hopefully, when you find out who your opponent is going to be in November, and uh, we we'll try and keep in touch. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks so much for putting us from England. And hopefully, one day I'll come find you. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great, yeah. man. All right, man. Tap. Yeah. We'll see you. See you later, man. Take care, man. All the best, Thank champ. You.